<laughs> Alan Hume's appropriate footwear. Wow, it's warm. And sometimes there just isn't enough time to do all the watering. Today we're going to make a self-watering box for seedlings out of this under the bed storage box, 32 litre model, a pack of capillary matting from the local DIY store, a pair of scissors and a Stanley knife. The type of storage box that you use for your self-watering box isn't critical really, you can use pretty much any old box. Um, so long as it's got a recessed lid that's uh, reasonably flat, uh, then that's the main thing. However, if you use a deeper box, then this extra depth will be wasted really, because the capillary matting will only draw up water down to a, a certain depth, just down a few centimetres. So that's why it's good to go for a shallower box, that's just more space efficient. Capillary matting is amazing stuff. Uh, it's got a white side and a green side and it's quite spongy. And it, how it works is uh, any moisture that gets into the matting, it draws along through uh, the matting and will even go uphill, which is why our self-watering box works. What we're going to do first is cut the capillary matting. Uh, so that we've got a piece that fits on top inside the recess of the lid and then some wicks or little strips of matting that will go through the lid and down into the water reservoir below. Now we have our piece of matting to fit inside the lid. Next we want to make some strips that will go down from the lid down into the reservoir and will draw up the water so the plants can use it. This is quite a big sheet of capillary matting. We want to cut some wicks that are just a couple of centimetres wide, not very wide. Okay, so we've cut these uh, couple of strips. Now, these can be half the length because we've got to go down into the bottom of the container and up onto the lid. So you can see if we fold this in two, that's easily long enough. That lives, gives us some overlap in the top. So that's a good length, an ideal length. Put it like that. And this one, that halfway, there. So we, we've got four wicks. Next, we want to cut some holes in the lid so that the wicks can go down into the reservoir. So these holes need to be, you can just cut a, a slot, but they need to be slightly wider than the wicks. our four holes for the wicks to pass through. What I'm also going to do is cut a small hole in the corner to make it easier to fill up the self-watering box when there are plants on top. There we go, like that. Right. Now we can assemble the box. So first of all, have the box with the lid on. Now we take our four wicks and we put these through the holes in the lid into the box. Like that. Then we place our mat on top. There. Now we're ready for some water.
This size of box easily accommodates two full-size seed trays or four half-size seed trays. I found that this type of box will keep your seedlings water for a good two weeks, even in a really hot greenhouse or polytunnel. Um, it's important to keep it topped up, of course, and I, I do mine weekly, actually, so I don't forget. But it's very easy using the hole in the corner. The surface of the compost doesn't dry out, it stays moist right away through. Um, until the water level drops so far that the water can't travel up the wicks anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a self-watering box for your seedlings and I wish you every success with growing your plants.